I'm Marcellus, I'm 14, a freshman at Windsor High School, and this is my faith journey. start describing my faith journey I should probably tell you a little bit about myself I'm Marcellus I'm a freshman at Windsor High School I've lived in Windsor all of my life I enjoy photography and videography hence why I'm doing this right now recording this video and making it for you I also like making music and listening to music originally I was going to make this project a song and then have like a video explaining the lyrics of the song but I can't ran into kind of like an artist block or writer's block in the middle of that so that didn't follow through I also enjoy coding and I'm a part of the scouts I've been doing scouting since I was about six years old I believe whenever it starts I also enjoy playing sports so I played soccer for about five to six years and I'm currently playing lacrosse and I enjoy football so I plan on playing that in the fall for my high school I have three siblings and then two caring parents and that's pretty much it. If I think of anything else, I'll make sure to bring it up. So on to my faith journey. I grew up in the church. When I was born, my parents christened me. I was christened by Reverend Headley in Faith Congregational Church. So I've kind of been a part of Faith Congregational Church all my life. But when I was younger, I didn't really understand the concept of Jesus and God. And I didn't really have a grasp as to what it meant. So it was really just me listening to what my parents said and listening to the preachers and pastors talk, but never really understanding their word. Two people that I want to recognize quickly that had an important part throughout my faith journey are Reverend Hadley and Reverend Stephen Camp. And they've always been there and they've helped me grow and develop as a Christian. Other people that I want to recognize are my parents as they introduced me to Christianity and introduced me to the church and also all of the members of Faith Congregational Church as they've helped me progress and always been there for me. Now, as I said earlier, I didn't really grasp the concept of God and Jesus at first, but as I've grown, I've understood it more and I've learned to accept it and accept him in my life. I've experienced God in many ways throughout my life. Though he may not be there in a physical way, he was always there for me, kind of like spiritually and mentally. It seemed like he always answered my prayers and he was there for me and he would provide for me in times of need. When I was worried about something, I would pray for it. And it seemed like that kind of got fixed. Now, at first I didn't really think about it as God doing it. I just thought it kind of sorted itself out. But then as I dove deeper into like my spirituality, I think I pronounced it right, and my religious beliefs, I realized that it was him all along. It's kind of like he was wa there watching over me this entire time, making sure that I was safe. And if I ever had a need, then he would provide for me. And if I ever had a want, sometimes I would get that thing if I really need it, needed it or desired it kind of. But he was always there for me and looked out for me in a way. Though I feel like God is always there, the time that I really feel like the closest connection to God and my spirituality is when I'm praying kind of by myself in the nighttime. So laying in my bed kind of in the darkness and I'm just praying and I know that he's out there listening. That's when I feel the closest. Other times when I really feel close and I can feel a connection is in church through the music. Because that's one of the things that's important to me. I like music. I like hearing it. I like hearing gospel music and religious music 
and singing and playing piano in the church and stuff, that really makes me feel a connection with God and Jesus and Christianity in a way. I believe that God's blessed me in many ways. I'm gifted, I know how to play the piano, I have fairly good grades, and I have a, an amazing family and a bunch of amazing friends. I'm also well off than some other people. I have stuff that other people might not have, like a roof over my head, and I have access to food and water every day. I feel like he's blessed me in many ways. He's given me everything that I could ever need and almost everything that I've ever asked for. My favorite book in the Bible is Job because in the book of Job, Job is tested by God. Well, tested by Satan and because Satan wanted to prove God wrong. But basically, he loses everything. He loses his children, all of his estates, all of his money, all of his livestock his sheep his cows his goats all of that is taken away from him and he still trusts in god even though everyone is trying to persuade him not to trust him and to strive away from god to go away from god and not to listen to him or believe in him anymore job still how do i say it job still held strong he held his belief strong and he was still trusting that God had a plan. I think that's really important to have a good bond with God or Jesus to make sure that you're always trusting them no matter what. Because in the end of the book, in the end of Job, everything worked out for him. God provided him with everything he had before plus more. So Job held strong. He was faithful the entire time and then he was rewarded by God with even more. So I think that's one thing that's important to me. One of the things that's important to me is staying faithful. Even though it may not look like he's there for me, I just know that God is still there and that he's still there protecting me and ready to step in if something happens. Another thing that I can gain from the book of Job and that anyone can really gain from it is not to succumb to temptation. So Job was tempted by Satan and other people trying to persuade him not to be faithful to God anymore, but he stayed strong. So one thing that I try to live by is not to be tempted to do bad things because of other people and to always stay faithful to God. Another book that leaves an impact on me is the book of Exodus because it shows how God can be working through you. Moses saw a burning bush and God spoke through him, to him through it. And then he went on to be able to rescue his people from Egypt and lead them across the Red Sea and part of the sea. That really shows us how God can be working through us. So everyone here could be an agent of God. They could be a disciple. So one thing that I try to make sure to do is I try to make sure that I'm kind of being a disciple. So I'm spreading the word. I'm being nice to other people. I'm acting kindly to other people and making sure that I'm living out the way that I think God will want me to live. Another book that really leaves an impact on me is the book of Ruth. So Ruth and her sister married two different sons of Naomi and then all three of their husbands ended up dying and Naomi wants to go back to her homeland and Ruth's sister does not want to do that but, but Ruth decides that she's going to go back to Naomi's homeland with Naomi and it can really show you how strong the bond of friendship and family could be. Ruth knows that she's not going to have a home back then and Naomi tries to persuade her to go to a different place and to remarry but Ruth stays strong and has faith in God that he's going to lead her through whatever troubles that she may find in her new home. And that really shows how strong the bond of family is and that if you stick together and trust in God, everything will turn out right. I don't want to make this too long, so I just want to say as I come to a close that I still have tons of wonders about God and Jesus and the Bible. And I will never understand and get a full grasp of everything. So I just try to educate myself more and more and pick up what information I can because it's still interesting to me. And I want to give a thank you to Deacon Mark and Miss Tracy as they've helped me explore my faith 
on this journey of confirmation and they helped me kind of discover who I am as a person and as a Christian. But I appreciate every single person from Faith Church and Emmanuel Congregational Church as well as my family and everyone who's ever been there for me as a part of the Christian community or really as a part of my life overall. So I just want to say thank you to them. I want to give a thank you to them really quickly and I want to say thank you to you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and that's all I have for you. So have a nice day.